Hello, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. This is day 14 of our trek, and today we're looking at how we can transform your thinking through sharing, which has a capability of transforming your own life. Today we are recording our podcast from our studio at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I'm creating these podcast notes. We're on our way south from Marietta to our home in Charlotte. I am blessed to have Paula willing and able to drive on our many excursions, which allows me to work in what would otherwise might be idle time. As we finished up our latest two weeks in Marietta, I was able to get our large lawn mowed and some other outside activities completed. The flowers planted last month are really starting to accent the house nicely. It is always enjoyable, but can be somewhat overwhelming the amount of continual work that needs done on the big house to keep it in good shape. Fortunately, I don't have to trek on these tasks alone. Paula helps out. And so does my brother Jack, who lives next door on the same property. Even Paula's mom, who is 82 years young and lives with us and travels back and forth with us, helps with weed whipping and blowing the grass and leaves. So it's truly a family affair. As I mentioned in yesterday's podcast, we were able to attend the opening night of performance in Tecumseh, the outdoor drama. If you are ever in Chillicothe, Ohio, during the summer, it is well worth your time. It is an excellent performance. Thanks for allowing us to share our life's trek with you. We continually enjoy our journey that we have each day. If you have anything to share with us, such as stories or questions, please leave them on wisdom-trek.com forward slash contact us. We will work them into our future podcasts so that everyone on our trek can get to know each other better. Yesterday, I encourage you to be more deliberate on choosing the right mindset each day and being proactive on creating a day in life that you'll enjoy. As we head out on our trek today, we continue our previous thought about sharing with each other. This simple act of sharing wisdom and knowledge can transform the lives of others as well as our own lives. One of my virtual mentors, Jim Rohn, was considered one of the foremost business philosophers of our time. He discussed the importance of sharing, which is certainly what we want to foster within our Wisdom Trek community. Jim Rohn put it this way, The key to make life really unique and worthwhile is to share with others. It has a certain unique magic of its own. The key to make our life's trek really unique and worthwhile is to share. As we travel through life each day, it's important that we grasp this concept of sharing by teaching others and then participate in sharing by learning from others. That is why I am encouraging you each day to share your stories, experiences, and wisdom with us that all of us might benefit together. As we share stories and experiences with each other, it allows us to learn, to grow, and to change. This is what we can learn by sharing ideas, stories, experiences, and wisdom. If you share an idea with 10 different people, it is multiplied 10 times. They get to hear it once, and then you get to hear it 10 more times. Share wisdom and insight as you have opportunity with your family, friends, and others that you meet on Life's Trek. When one person shares with another, two things that could happen. If you share with someone else, they could be transformed. Your paths may have crossed in just the right time. They may be at a crossroads or even a life-changing moment. They may have most of the trail figured out, but need that little bit of information that only you can share. As we traverse through the trails of life, we gain wisdom and experiences that are truly unique to us. That extra nugget of wisdom that we have obtained may be very crucial in the life of others. If you share the right information at the right time, it will provide that information for the person to continue on their journey. The trail will become clearer for them, and they will have an opportunity that they never saw before. The person who hears could be transformed. In order for us to learn the information that we need and to be able to share with others, it takes time, discipline, perseverance, experience, and a lot of study. But here's what else is exciting. By learning in order to share, you will also be transformed. We are all looking for transformation on our trek of life, a better life tomorrow, this month, this year, and every year of our life. The transforming magic comes with the realization that we need to learn and then to teach others. It multiplies what we know through others. Not only that, but it allows that wisdom and experience to grow within us. So it's a multiplier effect that is even greater. Visualize today as we are on our trail, and we come across this caterpillar that's making its way up the side of a tree. As we see this, let's think about the radical transformation of a caterpillar. It is transformed from a despised insect that crawls along the ground into a beautiful butterfly that everyone loves to watch, one that is free to fly wherever they desire. In the same way, I am encouraging you to go through such a metamorphosis. I'm encouraging you to go through the seasons of life where you say, new skills, new wisdom, new habits of thought are waiting for me. If you take the time to learn and apply and then translate and share that information for other people, you will see the transformation in your own life as well. Even if you are hesitant to share or teach at first, by doing so, 
You will not only be helping to transform the lives of others, the transformation in you will be self-evident. This transformation or metamorphosis, as well as all lasting changes, begins in our mind. That is why it's so important to make sure that we allow into our minds only that which is positive and growth-oriented. We cannot allow the negativity of the many of the media outlets or other individuals to filter in and train our minds. The concept of transformation draws to my mind a passage from the Bible that I'll share with you. In the Apostle Paul's letter to the church in Rome, he wrote in chapter 12, verse 2, Don't copy the behavior and the customs of the world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Also, in another one of Paul's letters to the church of Ephesus, chapter 4, verse 22 and 23, he exhorts them to throw away their former way of life and says, Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on the new nature created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Will you choose to remain a caterpillar, a despised insect that crawls everywhere they need to go, or to be a beautiful butterfly that flies from one beautiful flower to another? Just as a caterpillar must go through a painful and agonizing transformation, we too need to pursue wisdom, insight, and understanding relentlessly. We need to boldly grow where a few have chosen to grow before. You might think of it this way. To change from a caterpillar to a butterfly requires radical transformation. Once we have grown in wisdom, we are to share with others what we have learned. That is, as long as we have already applied it to our own lives. Not to share or teach others is to rob the world of the gifts that you have been given. Well, that will finish our podcast for today. Tomorrow we will reach a clearing on our trail, which opens to a field of grain, and we'll consider the concepts of planting and harvesting and how it will apply to creating a living legacy. So please check into camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. I encourage you to leave a discussion topic, comment, suggestion, or question about the podcast in the comment form on wisdom-trek.com forward slash day 14, or email me at guthrieadventurecg.com. If you would like us to discuss any topic or answer any questions during our podcast, please let us know. We would love to have the interaction from members of our Wisdom Trek team. Please subscribe on iTunes or the player of your choice so that the Wisdom Trek podcast will be downloaded automatically to your smartphone every day. Please leave us a rating also. This will mean so much to us. And please spread the word to everyone you know to join us on our Wisdom Trek. I really appreciate you and thank you for that. And check out wisdom-trek.com for our daily journal, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. As we take life's trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day. See you tomorrow.